Hello and welcome, this is your Funky Alfie with Let's Play Fallout 3, episode 18, part 6. In this one, we're going into Old Man Harris's house. And see just what he thinks about this, um, odd situation. Where are you? Hello? Ah, there you go. Hi. What? Who are you? I'm nobody. What? How? How did you get in here? What are you doing in this town? Get out! Get out while you can! What? Let's slow down, Grandpa. What's wrong? What's wrong? You don't see anything wrong with a quiet little town full of friendly people in the middle of a blasted wasteland? Um, what's wrong with being friendly? Nothing wrong with being friendly, but these folks aren't just friendly. They're killers. Huh? You just watch your back around here and get out while you can. Um, what? They're crazy. Crazy, I tell you. Okay. Oops, went out the back. <laughs> if they have anything... Oh, there's that shed they were talking about. Hmm. Very hard lock, huh? Must be some good inside. Oh, let's see just... I, I, I'm just get curious as to what they have to say about that old guy. I mean... If somebody accuses you of being a killer, you'd think you'd want to, uh... Stand up to the charges. Ooh, we smell that air. Ain't nothing like it, is there? Um, and what can I do for you on this fine day? Uh, what's wrong with that Harris guy? Oh, that old kidder? Whatever he's saying, he's just pulling your leg. He's always choking that one. Um, okay, yeah. I've got Come back and see you soon. Sure. Sure. Okay, me thinks that they're all going to say the same thing about him. So, let's just go ahead and see what's in the chat. Almost there. Damn it. Uh, wow, I have less than 30 body pins now. Damn it! Come on! Fuck. I hate very hard blocks. Nope. I mean, it's so fucking fine. Come on! Okay, it's not that far. Higher up, maybe? No, it's definitely lower than that. More than that. We keep getting. God damn it! This is driving me fucking nuts. Can't we just blow it off the hinges? <sighs> Let's try this again. Man, I'm gonna be fucking out of bobby pins by the time I'm done with this thing. Maybe. Up higher. Yay! Of course, it's overheating now that I've made it in, but yeah, we'll get inside and, well, okay, I'll just stop the recording here. All right, so we're inside. Let's see what we got in here. We got, um, this is freaky as hell. There's skeletons in Knives. Is that intestines? Rippers. Strange meat. Oh boy. I think I know what the family business is. Hey there, stranger. I got something I want to talk to you about. I couldn't help but notice that you were poking around in Bill's shed. Yep. So, did you find what you were looking for in there? Yes, and I saw what you're hiding in there, you sick bastard. I'm disappointed in you, stranger, so quick to judge us. Did you ever stop to think that I have a family to support here? Judge not, lest ye be judged, as the good book says. 
Honestly, how many people have you killed? The only difference between us is that I'm bringing home the bacon for my family. <laughs> bacon. Bringing home the bacon? These are people, not bacon. What the fuck? Hey, I'll have none of that language in this house. I can't believe I'm being called a potty mouth by a cannibal. Okay, that's it. I warned you. Now I'm going to suck your jaw, mister. Are you? Hey! <laughs> nice facial expression. Oh, come on! You got the rest of them? Oh, not quite. Buck shot to the back of the head. And so much for Andale. They're a bunch of bunch of cannibals. Yeah, that was messed up. Um, where's the bodies of the uh, still in the Smith? And where's that one dude who had a double barrel shotgun? What happened to your gun? Fuck it. Well, I bet the old man probably got something to say about this. Uh, so... Why are you still here? I saw what happened out there, stranger. Those people may have been my family, but it had to be done. Yeah. I was like them for so many years. It's... I can't even talk about it. The only thing I can do is try to raise these kids and make Andale into a decent place. So what's going to happen to the kids? They'll stay here with me and I'll raise them myself. It's a shame that they have to grow up without their parents. Well, they shouldn't have attacked But me. to tell you the truth, it's a lot better than growing up with their parents, everything considered. Better an orphan than a cannibal, I guess? I guess. Well, now what do you do? We'll do our best is what we'll do. Me and the kids here in Andale. What's left of it, anyway. It'll be hard going, but we'll do the best we can. I just hope that one day these kids will grow up to do some good for this place after all the evil that's been done here. Yeah. So you grew up here too? Sure did. Can't say that I'm proud of it though. It was all just normal. It's what we all did. I did never think much about it. I married Gladys, just like every boy in Andale and Andale married there the goes girl the recording. to his age. Again. We had Linda, and she grew up to marry Jack. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. All right. Pause. Come on, come on. It wasn't until I Gladys died that I thought uh, I had on around here. So, so many people over the years, hundreds, thousands, years, maybe. Hundreds, thousands, maybe. Oh, come on, come on. But what could I do? Oh, hey. I'm just up. an old man. But you ended it. Bless you. Yep, yep, I ended it. I need to get going. Bye. Bye. So, yeah, we just iced a bunch of cannon cannibals. So that's Andale. Hope you enjoyed it. We're never coming back. Next up, we are going to the new cola factory. There. Okay, I'm... Actually, pretty close now. Is that it? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, that's probably it. So, yeah, we just butchered a town of cannibals. Not bad, eh? Shotgun diplomacy at its finest. Because, you know, I used a shotgun. Mm -hmm. um, oh. Let's be a bit more careful. Here we go. Rock up. Whee! Keep going, keep going, keep But wow. Okay. Nuka Cola Factory, here we come. What are you shooting with? Was that star? Oh no. Just random dude. Or a chick. Up. Another wasteland survivor, huh? Sorry, but I don't got enough to share. 
Get your own copy of the book and do your own hunting. Book? What book? Ain't you heard of the Wasteland Survival Guide? Bought one off a trader, and it's the reason my family's back up to two meals a day. Actually, I helped write that book. Is that so? Well, thanks, stranger. You and that Moira girl done all right by me and mine. Nice writing. Glad you, glad you liked it. So yeah, that's why, if you've wondered why I've been talking to every random wastelander that I've come across, it was for that exact reason. I wanted one of them to say that, they've used the, that they're using the guide. And we've discovered the Nuka-Cola plant, which we will explore in the next one. This has been your Pucky Hunky with hey. a little click play. Stay tuned for part seven. Hope you'll see me next.